After this mountain hike, we are going to see something new. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create a simple ebook that we can add into our Google Sites. By adding a link, we will see that we can browse the ebook online. We are going to see the simple features of Book Creator. You can add your own content, you can create storybooks or some activities, then share it in different platforms. With a simple click, you can update anytime, add pages or some attachments if you wish. Also, the students can create their own ebooks and then share it with their teachers. What you see here are some examples of some grammar books created by middle school students. They transformed their paper notebooks into a digital one. They can access it anytime and anywhere. So to start with, go to Book Creator and create your own account and then log in. Once you're logged in, choose a format of your ebook. We'll use this one as an example to start with. You click on the plus sign and choose the layout of your page. As an example, we are going to use this one then plus sign again and text we choose a title write the title of your ebook for example meet the teacher adjust the size and then with simple drag and drop we're going to take one of our bitmojis and put it next to our title if it's too big resize it from the angles just move around the title resize it from there and position it on the side and then we are going to add a subtitle from the plus sign add a text then subtitle we are going to choose the yellow one this time which is quite bright we are going to create three subtitles of what the teacher likes to do for example from an open folder of our computer, we're going to drag again and drop another bitmoji, which will represent the free time activity. Once you have positioned your bitmoji, we are going to fill the third text box. So we are going to add another text, choose the same title format that we've chosen before and then write, for example, pets. And now we're going to choose another bitmoji, which can be one with pets, for example, one with cats. So in this case, I love cats also, so I put one with cats and then I put it backward. No, in that case, you can't see it. It will disappear. So let's put the title forward. Once you are done with positioning everything in the cover, we go to that little arrow we see and then we can create the second page. This time we choose another layout. We go back to the cover and right click, copy the Bitmoji image that we've chosen for that page and then right click and paste. So we will add another text so that we can talk about the sport. So we go to the plus sign again and then this time we're going to choose caption. So add text and let's choose the caption and we write our sentence. Position it in the middle and then resize the text box so that you have more space underneath and then you can add another image and another sentence. We're going to choose that flash thing and then add a text that we can move inside the flash. Write your sentence, for example, I also like hiking and then press done, move it inside and here you have the second part of the page. I like to make the sentence bold so that it pops. Once we are done with the second page, we move on to the third by clicking on that little arrow. 
we choose another format for the third page so plus sign panels and then choose this one go back to the cover to uh, copy the bitmoji that we chose for the second topic so the free time one right click copy go back to the third page right click and then paste then plus sign this time we are going to add a speech bubble and then plus sign again add text to the speech bubble write your sentence make it bold and then done drag the text into the speech bubble and then adjust the size now we're going to add another flash sentence the red one this time and we add a text we choose the one that we've used for the subtitles in the cover with that little black arrow we are going to move on the fourth page we try out another layout we pick this one and go back to the cover to uh, copy the bitmoji of the third box so right click copy and then go back to the fourth page paste right here and then we are going to add a sentence so let's try another function that we haven't seen let's see go there and then we may choose a sentence uh, for example we choose awesome and then we can add a text to complete the sentence so we go to the plus sign to pick up another font of a text and then we write for example my cat is so that it completes the sentence with awesome move it around so that it fits now we're going to see another function we have already seen the plus sign and all those functions if you go to shapes you can add some shapes and inside the shapes you can add a text if you go to media you can upload a file from your computer or also from your drive if we want to add a link to our social media platforms we upload a logo for example of our youtube channel we resize it and we will position under the title of meet the teacher we can add a twitter account we can save a twitter logo right click save the image go back to your ebook and then plus sign media upload the file if the image we uploaded has a background we go to the site remove bg so that we can remove the grayish transparent background which is not transparent actually but we have to remove that so upload the file and then remove it this is the image that we need so we're going to save it right click save it and then we go back to our ebook and then plus sign media upload so the same procedure as before now if we move it we can see the difference one is clear and the other one has a background so we get rid of that and then we add another logo of a social media platform that we use for example we can upload a linkedin logo at the beginning is always big so resize it from the angles and then position it next to the other two logo of the social platforms that we normally use i also use instagram so i will add a logo of instagram so from media upload from the computer resize it from the angles so that it is more or less the same size as the other three that we have chosen i normally don't interact my students on facebook but i know some teachers do so i will add also the icon of facebook 
Now with the right click, we block all the images so that they won't move around. So right click on the image and then block. Now with command arrow number four, select and take a screenshot of the whole page. Now go to your Google Slides and choose a blank layout. Then go to background and insert the screenshot. I haven't seen in Book Creator the possibility of adding a link on the icons. So that's why we're using Google Slides to bypass that limit. And then we're going to add the uh, links here by covering the uh, logos so that we have a spot to add a link uh, because the image is in the background. So we cannot add the image that we have there. So we have to uh, create an active space and make the background of the shape and the line both transparent. Then just copy and paste the transparent shape that you have just created so that you can just cover all four images that you have there and then edit only the link. And that's it. You have an active slide that we are going to transform it and download it as a PDF. Now go back to your ebook plus sign. We're going to upload the PDF that we have just created. And then there we go. We upload and we move it into that angle. Now we have an exact page which resembles the one that we are seeing here, but with the links that are active. So let's see it. We open that and if you go over the mouse, you can see the link is active. So in this case, we have bypassed the limits that I mentioned before. Maybe Book Creator will add in the future, I don't know, but I haven't found the way to add links directly into the ebook. Or maybe the version I'm using is not updated, so check it out and use the latest version if you find. So as you can see, all links are correctly working. And then we have also this possibility of attachment, which can be any other attachments inside the ebook. For example, we can attach some Google size scenes that we have created. This wonderful one has been created by Becca. Thank you, Becca. You can check her on Instagram by digiting uh, Bitmoji Becca and you will find her. Please follow her because she's really wonderful and talented. In order to link this ebook onto your Google Sites, all you have to do is copy that link you see there with the right click and then go back to your Google Sites and then add the link once you have inserted the image of the ebook. Right click paste. Make sure that your link is not restricted. So go to the sharing options and make it public. Change the links and make it public so that once you click, you can access your ebook directly. Once you made all those changes, remember to publish the site. Otherwise, it won't be visible, the editing that you have just made. There we go. We have our ebook published on our Google Sites. Easy steps and wonderful results. That's all for now and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.